Well, hello there. New Milan Design here with another video from the series called uh, Video Tutorials, where I'll show you video settings for my final renders. Now, with this type of tutorial, I'll focus on things like uh, depth of field, uh, camera movement, camera angles, and so on. So in case you're interested in a full render settings for this project, you need to head to a before and after section, and the link is in the top right corner. So let's start with our first uh, clip that we have in here. This is our opening shot. We are using a wide angle uh, shot and the camera movement is a tracking shot, moving the camera slowly from left to right to reveal our house in the center. Let's have a look at the depth of field. In here we are using a lot of blur as you can see in here and the foreground and the background slider is all the way down which will make the foreground blurred and the main portion of the house, including the background, will stay uh, in focus. Moving on to our next uh, clip. We are using a wide angle uh, camera, but we change the movement of the camera to a dolly. So the camera is moving slowly forward, as you can see in here. We have one moving object in uh, our clip, which is our car. For now, just disregard these two characters in here. They are set up for our next uh, clips. So let's have a look at the depth of field and straight away you can see a couple of keyframes on the timeline and they are there to uh, keep our moving object in focus. You work with the focus distance, uh, you can work also with the foreground background uh, as well if you wish to and set up a couple of uh, keyframes on your timeline. As your uh, object is moving, you keep it in focus. Very similar thing in our next clip. This is a wide angle shot. Uh, we're using a tracking shot from uh, left to right with our camera. Uh, the lady is our moving object in, uh, in this clip. And very similar ar arrangement to our previous clip. Couple of keyframes on the timeline, uh, adjusting the focusing distance and keeping our moving object in focus. Next clip. In here we're using a wide angle camera again and the movement of the camera is, uh, is a boom or a crane shot, which means the camera is moving uh, vertically, as you can see. So we're revealing this uh, large portion of the house, having a look at the depth of field, uh, quite a lot of uh, uh, amount of blur in here, but we move the foreground background slider all the way to background, which will uh, make it uh, blurred and it will uh, make the front of the house uh, nice and sharp. Next clip, we are moving on to uh, the interior of the house with this wide angle shot and the dolly uh, camera move, as you can see in here, uh, moving forward. Let's check the uh, depth of field. We lowered the amount of blur a little bit. We kept it on the background, so the background will be blurred just a little bit to be able to see uh, what's going on in here. But the focus on, uh, of our attention uh, will be on this front uh, arrangement in here. Moving on to our next clip, uh, we stay on the interior of the house with this uh, very wide uh, angle shot and we're using a camera pan from right to left to reveal uh, the whole uh, interior of the house. When we check the depth of field, very similar settings to our previous clip, keeping uh, uh, the focus uh, uh, on, the, uh, on the foreground, which means we're gonna blur the background, uh, the amount stays the same. So the background is blur blurred a little bit and it keeps our focus on the interior of the house, as you can see here. Moving on to our next uh, clip. This is a wide uh, angle camera shot and the movement is orbiting shot. This is a very good uh, shot for architectural presentation where you can show a large portion uh, of your model in one clip. As you can see, we are showing three sides of the house in the same uh, clip. So let's check the uh, depth of field setup. Uh, very similar amount of blur that we used previously, but we moved uh, the background, uh, foreground uh, a blur or shifter or slider to, uh, towards the foreground. So it will be slightly blurred and the main portion of the house and the background will stay uh, sharp. From this clip, we're moving on to uh, this one. 
revealing the remaining portion of the house that we have not seen yet and we are using a wide angle camera and a tracking shot from uh, right to left let's have a look at the depth of field uh, basically the same uh, same setup as in our previous uh, clip the foreground will be uh, slightly blurred and the house and the background will stay in focus our next clip is a medium shot as you can see in here and we are focusing uh, on our uh, chair and the table uh, in here which is our main uh, object when we check the uh, depth of field you can see straight away we have two keyframes on our timeline and that is uh, helping us to shift the focus the focal distance from the background to our uh, foreground or the main objects uh, in here as you can see the amount of blur is uh, uh, quite large and we keyframe the foreground uh, and the background as well as the focusing distance on our timeline to be able to uh, shift the focus from the background to our front object and the movement of the camera in here we're using is a zoom and we're finishing with our last uh, clip which is this one this is our closing shot this is a very interesting uh, type of shot it's called a vertigo shot or a dolly zoom it's a very difficult uh, shot to achieve actually so let's have a look at the uh, depth of field in here uh, we are splitting the uh, the amount of blur in between the foreground and the background which will make the the house sharp and pop and the background and the foreground will be uh, slightly uh, blurred so that is our final and closing shot thanks for watching guys stay well and stay creative